Welcome to today's live stream. I'm super excited to welcome you here today. Before we get started and get into the really for real live, this is obviously a pre-recorded video where I can tell you a couple things and then we can get started. So uh, honestly what I'm doing is buying myself time to turn the camera on and make sure that everything sounds good. But uh, while we do that, while we wait for myself, let's go ahead and comment below. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Maybe let's start with your name and where you're watching from. And then also I'd love to hear about uh, maybe the latest project you're working on or your favorite software. So if you can post a link below, go ahead and post a link to your portfolio. We'd love to check it out and see what you're up to. And maybe even let us know what your favorite uh, software is or maybe your favorite subject. Do you like web design or print design or making t-shirts or logos or branding? I don't know. Go ahead and comment below and let us know. We'd love to check it out. And then also, if you'd love to see what I'm up to, you can check out my work at DerekMitchell.com. You can see some YouTube videos at YouTube.com slash Derek Mitchell. And then also live streaming at Behance.net slash Mitchell's Garage. So you can check me out there. And then did I say Instagram? I don't know if I said Instagram yet or not. Instagram.com slash D Mitchell Design. So hopefully there's links and buttons and stuff here right there. Uh, anyway, all right guys, we're about to dive into some really cool stuff. Uh, feel free to comment in the thread and I'd love to, again, see what you're up to and I'll try and answer your questions as we get going, but let's go ahead and dive in. Today's video is sponsored by the Graphic Design Bootcamp. If you're looking at becoming a graphic designer and you wanna learn more about Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign, creating real world projects that clients would actually pay you for, for things like logos, business cards, letterhead, and much more. Check out the link below for more information and a deep discount to get started today. Wow, tuning in all the way from Pakistan. Thanks for joining, Talha. I hope I said your name right. What's up, Sakaria from Somalia? Thanks for joining in. Today's video is sponsored by the Graphic Design Bootcamp. If you're looking at becoming a graphic designer and you wanna learn more about Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, creating real world projects that clients would actually pay you for, for things like logos, business cards, letterhead, and much more, check out the link below for more information and a deep discount to get started today. Oh, 
All right, what's going on guys? Hey, welcome to the stream. Uh, just a quick test, can you hear me okay? Make sure my levels are good. Uh, for whatever reason, I've had a lot of tech issues lately when I go live, so uh, today honestly might not be that much different uh, just because uh, there's just some things that I'm, I'm still dialing in. So today what we're doing, I'm just playing. Uh, I'm not playing, I'm working. Uh, I'm working on a, on a packaging course, so it's gonna go on Skillshare. And I'm pulling assets together and I figured I might as well turn the stream on so you can kind of see as I go through some stuff. So today it's just, I'm, we're just hanging out. We're not doing anything crazy. Uh, feel free to comment in the chat as we go along. Feel free to jump in or leave, whatever. I'm mostly just letting you kind of look over my shoulder and I'm going to be working on pulling assets. I don't know how long it'll go, maybe 10 minutes, maybe half hour. I just want to try and work through some things before I actually turn the camera on camera's already on, but you know, before I record it and, uh, actually make the course. So you guys kind of get a, a, uh, behind the scenes look today as we jump in and do some stuff. So, uh, I'm just going to dive in. Feel free to jump into the comments. We'd love to hear where you guys are from. Welcome Zakaria and Talha. We got people tuning in from Pakistan and from Somalia. So cool. All right. So here's what we're doing. I'm going to move my broadcast over here. Uh, if you're tuning in from Behance, say hello in the chat. Uh, let's see. What's up? What's up? Zakaria says, I want to become a high, wait, okay. Went to become a height graphic designer. I think you, I think what you're saying is you want to become like a good graphic designer. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, awesome. Awesome. Uh, glad you're here. So let's go ahead. Basically what I'm going to be doing right now, and you can see my screen. See, I'm just doing some housekeeping. All right, you can hear me, you can see me. We're just gonna go for it. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I love using Envato Elements and Adobe Stock to grab templates to work on things. So I'm working on some packaging design for this, basically showing you guys how you can take your own uh, your own uh, uh, brands and mock them up on boxes. So uh, that's the goal here today. I've got some of these templates that I've already found that I really like. We're gonna get to work. So I've already downloaded all of these. Um, let's see, what's the best way to share these links? I don't know. Don't really know yet. I'm just working through some stuff. So, uh, let's oh, also turn on visualize. There you go. So you can see my mouse clicks and my keyboard strokes. Hey, what's up from Nigeria? Ayu Kuni. Did I say that right? No, I did not say that right at all. Not even close. But hey, thanks for joining from Nigeria. I really appreciate you being here. All right, so what I'm doing now, uh, I'm just going to jump into these templates that I downloaded from Envato Elements. Uh, and I have a couple in here from Adobe Stock as well. And so what I'm looking to do is just get familiar with these templates that I downloaded before I start teaching about this. All right, so I've got this Cocoa Coffee template, which this is not a mock-up. If I open up these files, in Photoshop here, uh, I can see that they're all flat. Let's see if this will open it up. Oh, hot. it said Photoshop is open, but it's reopening. Okay, that's neat. Uh, we'll let Photoshop think about it and get happy about life. Let's make sure Illustrator's open. All right, that's opening up, we're good. Okay, so one thing, when you're downloading your assets, pay attention to exactly what you're getting. So in this case, I, download, I downloaded, um, Oh, did I already close everything? I did. Oh, well. Uh, I downloaded all of these from Envato Elements, and and it says packaging design, but it's not a mock-up. It's not a true mock-up. It's just a, and I thought I had do not disturb on. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Do not disturb. Always on. Boom. All right. Cool. Um, all right. We are working in packaging design. And so in this case, this is just a, a mock-up that you could actually use to create real packaging, but I, I want to create the actual 3d version of this. So, uh, let's go ahead and close this file real quick. Now that I know what these are, I minimize Photoshop. We're going to minimize illustrator. I don't need it right now. Okay. So that's that template. Here's another template. Let's see what we have in here. These are cardboard boxes. All right. And then we've got this food package. Right, those look good. Just kind of flying through here real quick. Uh, main files. What is this one? I forgot what I downloaded. Okay, here's like a hanging tabbed box thing. We might play with that. And then uh, what's this one? Box mockup. Okay, we got a couple of regular box mockups. Cool. 
All right, let's get to work. I'm going to jump in with this one because I've already played with it a little bit. Let's go ahead and open it up. It's a Photoshop file. Cool. And uh, let's see. I think I'm going to move my camera. Here. Cool. Awesome. You guys have any fun plans for New Year's? Is it the new year for you yet where you're at? What time is it? Got to be getting close, huh? All right. We're all set. Let's do this. Okay. So I've got this packaging mock up here. And what I want to do is I just want to start putting some colors into it. So uh, most of the time when you're working with a brand, uh, I'm sorry, with the template, you'll have smart objects up here. So I'm going to go ahead and just experiment with these. I've got my smart object. Let's just fill it with the color. I think I'm going to work with my uh, graphic design, complete graphic design brand here. So let's throw this color on there. Save it. All right. So in this template, I can throw colors in one thing at a time. Let's go ahead and jump back in here. And I don't know if I have my signature set up in this file. I do. Let me grab that. This might be kind of a boring live. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. Usually I, I try and get really planned out before I go live. Um, and in this case, I'm just, we're just hanging out. I don't really care. Uh, let me know what you think. Where did I pull that? Actually, we're going to pull it from a website. Let's do that real quick. All right, go to my website, grab my logo. Going to lock the transparency and fill it with white. Let's center it. Actually, let's kind of get crazy with it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just playing around in the smart object here. All right, that's cool. And uh, let's see, down here in this template, we've got a background color. All right, so this must be the color of our, oh, that's the actual background. Uh, we want the change color here. All right, uh, box color, here it is, base box. Is this my color right here? Let's fill it, let's see what happens. Boom, all right. I uh, just filled that layer with my color here, hitting option delete on my keyboard. So you can just come up here to uh, edit down to fill. Uh, all right. If you're just tuning in, I'm just playing around with the project. I'm just trying to get ready for a course that I'm recording and uh, we're just kind of hanging out. So feel free to comment in the chat. If you want say hello, where you're watching from other than that, we're just kind of playing. All right. So let's kind of do something with the front here. Let's uh, let's see. Place your dining here front top right here. All right. So there's my smart object for that. We'll double click on here. Let's grab a graphic real quick. Throw it in there. I'm holding down shift. So it puts it in the center. That didn't work. All right. Well, it should have anyway. All right. Scale it in place. Save it. Close it. Cool. That skewed it in place. Uh, let's see. All right. Cool. Good. That box. Save it. Now, how could we use this? We could export it just like that. Looks pretty good. We could mess with the background a little bit. I'm going to do a different version. Let's see. That looks clean. Cool. So I could use this if I was pretending to sell a product uh, or, or if I wanted to mock something up for my website. And when I'm all said and done here, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, you know what I don't want to do? Is save over this template, which I maybe already did because I hit Command S all the time. I'm not even thinking about it. Uh, 
call this scene one edit main files we'll save it in there cool all right so once you get something uh lined out that you want to export we just come up here to file down to uh, export lots of different settings lots of different ways to export this i want to go to export as looks good we'll dial in the quality here i'm going to scrub it down just a little bit to make it a little bit smaller if i was going to put this on the website uh, maybe even change the pixel dimension here let's see now nah, we'll leave it alone for now export All right, let's explore some of these other templates we have real quick. We'll use this one. Ooh, we got a black box too, nice. All right, let's use that. Left, right. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Any, uh, any exciting new things, getting ready for New Year's? Anybody going to hang out with friends? What do you guys do to celebrate? Do you celebrate? One thing you could do is you could join my friend, Paul Gowan, uh, paulgowan.com slash 2021. And uh, he's doing a live broadcast tomorrow. I might make a guest appearance. Not sure yet, uh, but check that out. All right, what are we doing here? Let's do some stuff. Box front right there. There's my smart object. Let's double click on here and just kind of see what happens when we throw some stuff into it. This feels weird for me uh, to not be really teaching as I'm going. This feels really weird. Um, but I'm just trying to get my thoughts together before I start recording and just kind of playing around with these templates real quick to get some ideas. All right, save that, close that. Nope, don't like that. What happened? No. I'm not a huge fan of what the black box is looking like here. Let's um, let's play this a little more. What's up? I can call you Josh. What's up, Josh? Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, sorry for completely butchering your name. Uh, okay. He says, I initially thought you wanted to make design or build a mock-up from a product image. Um, all right. So what I'm, what I'm doing right now, I'm just kind of screwing around with some templates I downloaded just to kind of see how it's been built before I dive into it. Um, there's so many ways to do a mock-up and, and there's also, there's a couple things going on here. So you've got a mock-up, which is basically showing what it could look like and, um, you know, showing what, what you think your design is going to look like on a package. And then there's the real package design, which typically it's all flat. Oh, I should have, I don't have, um, I'm gonna be right back. Enjoy yourselves. I'll be right back.
All right, and we're back. So uh, this is a box I designed a long time ago. It's so cool. I love this. It's one of my favorite things I did. Um, and you can kind of see. Oh, my microphones and stuff are up there in the way. Um, and it's super dusty. It's been like in my garage just hanging out. But it's a matte suede box with a metallic clear foil over the top. Um, and really, really fun package to design. So I could do a mock-up of this 3D in Dimension or Photoshop or whatever. But to actually print this and design it, uh, if we open it up here, it's flat, right? It runs through the printer flat. So, um, you know, if we were to fold this all the way, unfold it, which I guess I could do. Um, I, should, I could pull up the template file too for this. I could also maybe try something smaller than this giant box. All right, so when I designed this, um, I think this one I designed in Illustrator actually. But the file looks like this. I'm going to scoot back so you can see it. So it's flat. You design the whole thing flat like this. And then you send it to press and then they cut it out and fold it and do all the things. So uh, actually it arrives in a pallet all flat and you got to fold the boxes yourself. So those are kind of two different subjects. And so, uh, you know, you, you might take a product image, whether that's, you know, if you're working on a coffee brand, maybe it's a coffee bean. Uh, in this case, I'm just throwing graphics on this mock-up just to kind of see what it could look like. So uh, the other, okay, so there's there's a template. There's just like throwing things in here um, and using somebody else's artwork to help it uh, to mock it up. Now, what happens if you want to do it for real on your own? So let's kind of look at some options for that. So one of which is Adobe Dimension. If you haven't played with it yet, check it out. It's really cool. If you've got the Creative Suite, it's a free download. It's a 3D modeling um modeling app i guess you could call it whatever lots lots of cool things in this app too so i'm gonna go ahead and jump in and create a new document if it's your first time checking it out check out this header right up here it, it's not quite as easy to see but there's these four little dots uh it gives you like a quick rundown a two minute overview and uh some other content you can get for free i'm gonna create a new document on the top left and uh, it'll get Give you the canvas here and over on the left we have all these starter assets if you don't see this make sure up here this drop down you're not set to libraries but you're actually set to starter assets and we're in the design tab and what i'm going to do is just kind of scroll down and there's all kinds of models here it might look a little bit different depending on when you're watching this video and uh, I, I don't think i've changed any settings but let's just say we wanted to do a coffee bag mock-up uh what else do we have here we've got lots of 3d models that we can work with I'm just going to literally drag and drop this right onto the, onto the, do we call it a canvas, a stage? I don't know. Yeah, Josh, I hope that helps the explanations. Uh, and again, this video is more of a me wrapping my mind around how I'm going to teach this course. And you get to look over my shoulder and ask questions and hang out. Uh, it's not really intended for me to be like teaching per se. So I'm interested to see what you think. If I, if it's fun for you to kind of have my camera on while I'm doing stuff, Oh, you can't even see. Somebody's got to say something. <laughs> wow. Uh, all right. Well, here's a dummy dimension. Um, <laughs> uh, you missed all of that. We're going to go back to the home real quick. So when you open up dimension, this is what you see. Here's the four little dots I was talking about. There's some different banners up here, some helpful stuff. I clicked on create new. Uh, it opened up a new design thing. Let's delete this off the canvas. You should see this, all the models and basic shapes from the starter assets. Uh, make sure you're there. Okay. And I just went and I grabbed a coffee bag, threw it right on the stage. So now that I've got this, uh, you can modify and, and rotate and do all kinds of fun stuff. It's really straightforward. And if I wanted to create my own custom mock-up in Photoshop, I could just export this base just like this, uh, by rendering it out. Or I could even bring in graphic assets from other software and paste. I think I can copy and paste from Photoshop. Let me see. Um, let's grab... Let's go in here and grab this guy. I'm just gonna highlight this layer, call it DM signature logo. I'm just gonna copy it. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. We're about to find out. Command V to paste. Let's see what happens. 
There's got to be a way. I haven't done this before. Does anybody know? Uh, usually what I do is I would grab an, an image from somewhere else. I wonder if I can drag and drop. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Doesn't seem to work that way. All right. So the other thing I could do is export an image and drag and drop it right onto the, to the, uh, the bag here. Let's go ahead and go to Photoshop. Let's grab this DM signature layer. I'm going to right click. I'm going to export as PNG. I'm gonna throw it right on my desktop. Save. All right. So now I can go to my desktop. There's that PNG and I can just throw it right onto here. It's going to make me, there it is. Okay, cool. So that worked and then I can scale it down, do whatever I need to do. Cool. Good, 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 good. And now when I grab the bag, that image rotates with the bag. Very cool stuff. All right, let's go ahead and just export this so I can play with it. And what am I doing? Let's see. I can't remember. There we go. All right. I'm just going to delete that. All right. So up here on the top right, we can change our camera angles and stuff. But right now I want to uh, render this out. And I can't remember. Oh, up here, this top little share 3D scenes. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I'm going to take a snapshot as a PNG. I don't want to publish the whole 3D scene. I'm just going to take a snapshot. Click on that. All right. All right, let's go ahead and open that coffee bag. Uh, I'm just gonna go to my desktop, see what that PNG looks like. Sweet, uh, not sweet. Okay, it exported the canvas. I gotta figure out how to do that. Uh, for now, we're gonna leave it, throw it right into Photoshop. Okay, so I've got my image. All right, uh, how does it do it just as a PNG? I don't remember. I haven't played in Dimension for a while. Again, which is why we're here. I am playing around with uh, some stuff, getting ready to record here pretty soon. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. Can I copy the clipboard? <gasps> What's that gonna do? Nope, I didn't do it. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, I'm getting chills when they tell me you're not here. Trying to move, but it's hard. I'm out of Okay, so it's saying the only way to do it is to render to a PSD. All right. Um, let's see. Just double check this real quick. All right, well, I don't know. Let's try this instead. We're gonna go up to share, 
publish 3D scene. I'm gonna click on the little flyout menu and let's see. No, I don't do it that way either. forgetting it's been too long all right well let's not waste our time here i'll figure this out later Not sure what's going on guys uh if you're just joining i'm just playing around right now working on some package stuff for a course i'm about to record uh just figured i'd turn the live in case you had any questions or wanted to say hey see what's up uh i am currently trying to export this as a png or a photoshop file and i can't remember how to do it um so that's neat uh but we'll figure it out Ah, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. All right, well, we're just going to take the PNG in Photoshop. All right, we're just going to go with it. So uh, bonus to the new version of Photoshop, it's pretty much amazing because all I need to do is jump in here, go to my properties, and go down here to remove background. Boom, and now I've got a package I can work with. All right, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and play with this a little bit. I'm going to come back to the template uh, that I had from the original coffee packaging here. Let's open up all of these. All right, so let's pretend like you mocked up a label and you wanted to make a 3D rendering of it or a 3D mockup, and you didn't want to use Dimension, you're gonna use Photoshop, this is a way you could do it. So what I'm gonna do, there's a few different things. So this is just a regular Photoshop file. I could come through and make all these changes if I wanted to, but I can also, import these. So let's go back to here. Let's go find that front. That's the back. There's the front. I'm going to drag and drop this right into there. And look at that. It's like Inception. It's a dream within a dream. It places that Photoshop file right inside of there. And then what I can do is I can duplicate this. So I'm going to hit Command J to jump cut. And we're just going to turn this off because I'm about to make a bunch of changes to this one here. And uh, I can scale it, Command T to transform. I'm up here in the in the options bar, I'm gonna click on the warp. Let's get it closer first. All right, let's warp it. And I can start scaling this right into place here. Let's go ahead and turn the opacity down a little bit just so I can kind of see the edges here. 
And I'm going to let it go a little bit beyond the bounds of this because I'll mask it back. Man, that blue on blue is tough to see. Let's change our background color. There we go. So one thing I'm looking at is in the design, this line should be a straight line. Uh, so we're trying to work, work out the angles in the 3D on this a little bit. And now the other thing you could do, let's jump back into Adobe Dimension real quick. Let's go back and grab that JPEG that's exported for the front. So with a Dimension, it's awesome because you could just literally drag and drop that image right onto this bag here. Let's try that again. Third time's a the charm. There we go. And now it will work on this model. Now where it gets kind of tricky and I haven't found a workaround yet is when you get to the sides. So let's say we want to put the sides on this and have it fully wrap around. Let's get it close here. Not bad, that looks really great and it took me like two seconds. But if I click on the bag and I turn this to the side, you can see it's not perfect. And I can't find a way to mask on this yet. And it might be a new feature coming, who knows. Uh, but for the, for the moment, like if we look at these right here on the side, it's not, it's not perfect. Let's go ahead and grab the other side here. Same thing, gonna drag and drop that right in. So I can get it pretty darn close. That's pretty cool, but not perfect. Not perfect at all. Uh, what do we got going on here? See how it overlaps because it thinks it's straight and I can't really skew it. So this is where for me, Adobe Dimension kind of breaks if you're trying to do a full package like this. And again, there's gotta be a way to fix it. Uh, or, may or maybe not, maybe not. I don't know. See how these images roll over the back edges too. Um, this would be better if I was only trying to do like one of these graphics. So let's just delete that. Let's go to this other graphic here and let's just scale it down a little bit. So let's say you're just going to do like a sticker on the front of the bag instead of a full wrap. This looks pretty good. Not bad. All right. So, but what if you want to make it look real on a full wrap? Well, we're going to jump back into Photoshop and that's what we're doing right now. So we've got it wrapped, got it close. Um, I'm going to go ahead and command click on this mask and I'm going to click back on this layer and I'm going to mask it. So that way it goes right up to the edges here. Okay. And we can turn the visibility all the way back up. Uh, we could actually bring it down maybe to like 95% or so. And then we could also work with the blend mode. I'm going to click up here and hold down shift and hit plus and minus on my keyboard. Oh, got to Make sure you're on the, uh, that's neat. Make sure you're on the actual layer you're trying to adjust. There we go. So multiply is a good one. It just depends on the printing effect you're going for here, but I'm going to go to multiply. All right. So that way we get some of that texture coming through. Let's work on this side. So I'm going to bring in the side image here. All right. Let's get it close close to the right size. All right, and then I'm gonna jump cut this layer to, to another one too. Command J to jump cut, we're gonna turn it off. And the reason why I'm doing that is because now, because we've got this one all warped, if I double click, I should be able to come back and make any changes I want. But uh, you can also, because it's a clone, you could jump, you could click into this one as well and we could change color. So let's say after the fact you decide, hey, I actually wanna change the color on this thing, let's save it and we'll close it all of those transforms came through. So it re, re, uh, 
updates the image. Let's jump back in here. All right, save it, close it. Boom, let's transform this one now. Click on the warp up here. My bad, I forgot. Let's get this a little bit closer. Right to the edge. All right, got it close. Let's get to work. Let's scale it, warp it. I'm basically just eyeballing this, like I'm not getting too picky with it. Boom, all right, cool, that's close. I'm gonna hit return to commit that change. And then we'll hit zero on my number keypad to change the opacity back to 100%. All right, we've got some banding going on here. I'm gonna command click on this mask again, and we're gonna apply that mask to this layer as well. All right, so we're headed the right direction. Um, let's see, we need to adjust our coloring. Let's make that multiply. And by changing this blend mode to multiply, you can see it brings through the shadows of the side of the bag. All right, so we could clean up this edge a lot more. Uh, a lot of ways to do that. You can click on the mask and just get your brush tool and just come in here. Let's see, we're gonna paint with black to hide. That's one way to do it. Um, gosh, I don't wanna do this. We could also, oh, you know what we could do? I could command click on this layer because that's the shape of the mask on top and then come back to my mask over here we want to hide that by filling it with black. So black is here. If I hit command, which one? Okay, alt delete. I'm just filling this mask with black here to hide that. Boom, it goes right to the edge, it's perfect. Um, this edge wasn't perfect though, so it kind of defeats the purpose, but that's one way to work. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect for right now. Uh, I'm just playing around. Let's see, let's work on this top here. Uh, a couple ways we could work. I'm trying to think what I wanna do. Let's see, let's grab a copy of this smart object. We'll call it top. Kind of scale it in place. grab this mask, apply it to the top. Then I need to remove the extra down here. So we're gonna make sure we're on this layer. Let's see what's the best way to do this. That'll do it. All right, let's come back to the top. Select the inverse, fill it with black. Command D to deselect. All right, let's clean up these edges a little bit. All right, it's not perfect. It's a work in progress. Uh, but what's cool about it now is this is all a smart object uh, by doing it that way. So what I can do is I can double click in here 
and I can completely change everything. So let's go ahead and uh, got panels in my way here. I can't see. There we go. All right, we need a new color. Let's go back to my brand here. All right, let's save that. Look at that, it updated everything automatically. So cool. I change the side now. Oh, shoot. Did I flatten that one? Oh, I pulled in the JPEG on this one. All right, so this is a flat image. Uh, that's okay though. So what we could do with this, Let's see. All right. So I've got, let's see, I don't want to do that. Sorry. I'm looking at my live displays too, so I can see what's going on. All right. So this, let's change this background too. That's better. All right. So let's grab this shape. We're trying to fix the side here. So it matches. We're going to double click in here. And you'll notice that everything is flat because I brought in the JPEG, not the PSD. But what I can do is come back in here, double click to open it. Oh, what's the fastest way to do this? What could I do? I could shift click all these. I'm going to right click. I'm going to duplicate layers. I'm going to change the destination to this JPEG. Boink. Click OK. And I'm just going to throw all those layers into this JPEG. Didn't do a very good job though. What did I do? Oh, it's because it's a little. Oh, it's a way different size. All right, well, we'll just scale it. Convert to a smart object so it scales all nice. Again, if you're just joining, uh, I'm just kind of playing around right now. I've got some packaging stuff I'm, I'm playing with and getting ready for. I figured I would just let you guys look over my shoulder while I get this lined up and ready. There we go. And now we're going to right click. Uh, I forget. It's a new feature in Photoshop. We are going to uh, let's see. There we go. Edit contents. Okay. So it's a smart object. I should be able to click edit contents and it'll blow it all back out uh, and break it. So it's not a smart object anymore. Okay, cool. Let's play with the colors.
All right, we already did the logo once. Let's bring it all over here. Logo, all right. Hey, what's up, Facebook user? Let me know what your name is. Uh, I get this one specifically I'm making, uh, but I love to use Envato Elements and Adobe Stock. They both have really great templates. Sorry, I got distracted. What's up, Jeff? Right. Where are you watching from, Jeff? Dang it. <laughs> ah. uh. Okay, sorry. Forgetting what I'm doing here. Let's, if I save this and I close it. No. I got myself all turned around here, guys. All right, close that. Washington State. That's where I grew up. Spokane, actually. Jeff, is it? Which Jeff is this? Are you the one? Sorry, I know like five Jeffs. All right, uh, what am I doing? Totally distracted. No, you're all right. You're all good. Yeah, I'm distracting myself. So I need to uh, probably sign off here in just a second and actually uh, use these templates that I was playing around with. I'm making a course uh, for Skillshare. So this you'll you'll get a abbreviated, much better tutorial lesson course uh, that I'll be putting up on Skillshare here pretty soon, uh, hopefully by the end of next week. Um, and... Uh, yeah, should be good. So I just figured I'd go live and just kind of talk about what I'm up to and show you guys what I'm working on. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, I'm streaming to like four or five different places. That's why I was asking Jeff because, um, yeah, I didn't know if it was like my personal page or Behance or the Facebook group. Um, yeah, it's curious. Thanks for joining in. All right, what am I doing? I am so distracted. And it's not your fault, Jeff. It's just me. Uh, <laughs> thanks. All right, so we are making we're making a package design. We jumped into Dimension, we exported it. We're gonna jump into Photoshop, uh, and I'm just gonna update the side graphic to match. And then I got all distracted and closed everything. It's all good. It happens. Cool. All right, we're gonna delete that. Oh my gosh, my brain is just not working right now. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Okay. Delete that. I save it. Oh, I don't want to do it that way. All right, we're going to go to... Sorry, this is why I work this stuff out before I go and teach tutorials, because then I, I uh, do better. Oh, uh, where did I get my templates from? So in, I, I really like Adobe stock and I really like Envato elements. Let me just jump back in there real quick. I think I closed all those windows. Um, so stock.adobe.com has some of the best assets online. Uh, the problem depending on your budget is when you find a graphic. So in this case, let's do like a packaging. Oh my gosh, mock-up. Uh, when, you, when you buy something, for example, this template that I bought, um, 
to show you guys. I thought I was buying a mock-up, but it it's they're flat files for an actual package design, which is fine. If you're trying to design a package and you want to send it to press, it's got to be a flat file. Uh, but if you're trying to do a mock-up and you actually want mock-up files of a box or something, you want a PSD where it's a smart object and you can drop in your your assets, uh, you just got to pay attention before you download. So let's say you're in Adobe Stock and you download it, which again, all of these are really, really high quality assets. I wonder if I want to use any of these right now. Um, anyway, so you, you can get all these different angles and stuff, but it might be a flat JPEG file. So you really got to read the description before you download it. Uh, but really, really beautiful templates. Envato Elements, so go to elements.envato.com. It's a monthly subscription and you have unlimited downloads. So you can see why I like this because if I go to packaging, mockup, uh, you'll see some of the ones that I've already, that we're working with right here. Uh, let's go up to graphic templates. And uh, so here's the box I was kind of playing around with. I'll command click on that to open it in a new layer. Command click on that. Uh, so I've got a few different templates here that I was playing around with and I'm trying to find this last one here. Oh, there's one that I've used. Anyway, uh, let's just skip that. All right, so I've got all these different uh, packaging mockups. So some of these, like this one I know is 3D because I've downloaded it, but what's cool is that you can just download the item, click download, and then tell it what you're licensing it for, and then just download it, and it's unlimited download. So if it doesn't quite fit, or it's not exactly what you're looking for, you can just download another one. So that's why I really like about to elements. Uh, as far as quality, uh, quality assets, I recommend Adobe stock for sure. So they're both, and I guess I take that like Envato Elements is quality too. I'm just, I'm just saying it's nice to have different assets to pull from. So, uh, that's what I do. All right, guys, I'm clearly super distracted and I only have a, a short amount of time to, uh, get this, uh, course recorded and I'm going to jump in. I'm going to fire up the, uh, the DSLR and record some stuff. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out today. Uh, I will be going live a lot more doing some of this. So if you have questions, feel free to post them in the chat and I'll jump in. If you're not in the Facebook group, check it out. I go live in there frequently as well. And then also will help give you guys some portfolio feedback if you have it. So post your links, I'll check them out. Uh, thanks again for joining guys. I hope you have an awesome day and happy new year. Uh, yeah, that happened. That happened really fast. I can't believe it's already the new year. So, all right, I got work to do. Clearly, I'm distracted trying to go live. So have an awesome day, guys. Jeff, thanks for jumping in. Uh, everybody, thank you for tuning in. I will catch you all later. All right, guys, thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you learned a lot of valuable information, and I appreciate you sticking around to the very end. But before you go, just a couple things I want to remind you. The first is, if you haven't already, feel free to like this video if you can, depending on where you're watching from. Give it a thumbs up or subscribe or tap the bell or give it a follow if you can and uh, also maybe even just copy the link up in the browser and share it with a friend or post it to your Facebook page I'd really appreciate that uh, but again just want to say thanks for uh, sticking around and I'd love to continue going live as much as possible and helping you guys out so the best way that I can help you is by you commenting on the videos below I read those comments I engage with them as soon as I can if I can when I see them so if it's live I'll try and answer you right away if this is a replay you can still comment on the video Video and uh, I go back and I read those. So I just wanted to say thanks again for watching and let me know what you're working on. I'd love to help you out and hopefully we will see you in the next live. And to be sure you don't miss it, like, like this video and subscribe and follow and do the things. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.